this 41 that's about the change um you have made very positive changes uh when it comes to um you know your your communication um even you know mastering your craft and sharpening your sword or honing so certain skills pardon me it's like you have really been very diligent um and, you know, making sure that some of these things took effect. I saw a little gnat flying around my cup, you know, um, they be violating your drinks. Can't stand a gnat. Like, it's like, I love all things, but the gnat is annoying. Um, but I try not to kill it. I just be whisking it away and then it be popping up right back in my face. But anyway, but yes, yeah, so the self-discipline, like I said, this is like learning. So it's like you you have uh, absolutely been learning lessons. Um, and this is also uh, introducing you to, you know, perhaps your, um, your creativity, introducing you to perhaps an extension of your artist, artistic voice, uh, maybe through means of communication, maybe through music. Uh, maybe through, you know, playing an instrument, maybe your content creator, a videographer, a filmographer, a director, a writer, a singer, a hip hop artist, a poet, uh, you know, wh whatever you do, whatever you do. Maybe you're a channeler, a healer, a shaman, light worker, a Reiki healer, an astrologer, an astronomist, whatever you do, you know, it's like you're mastering that craft. Like you have mastered that craft. You have matured. You have gained wise dome. Like you've gained the wisdom, the wise dome, the spiritual strength or knowledge. It's like you have really just, you know, been very influential in, uh, you know, learning something. And it satisfies you. Like that green deals with the heart chakra. And so, you know, that green on the symbol there, it just shows like there's this like this feeling of fulfillment you know whatever this is you're doing you love it like it, it's like you lose track of time like it's it's just like you 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 don't mind you know being in the zone three four five hours because you get so much done because it's just like your creative juices i just keep hearing creative juices are just flowing you know maybe you're begin becoming more disciplined um in you know taking that time uh to master your craft um, you're, you're definitely like affecting, um, you're putting something in effect, like you're being very disciplined or regimented. You're making sure to, to, you know, make the time to do something. So that's powerful. So on the split, I didn't even give the split yet. I just got so much from that download. So we have 46 domestic harmony and then we have the 41 self-discipline. So there was something that, you know, became uh, very disharmonized. Um, this was, you know, definitely some sort of, uh, it was a conflict, you know, perhaps uh, two people who just couldn't see things in the same way, um, constantly arguing, constantly bickering, um, constant debates, um, not hearing one another, or maybe there's a feeling of not being heard. Uh, and so there's just this, it's, it feels more like a fight than a, a, a natural flow, ebb and flow. It's just a constant feeling of like a missed opportunity, miscommunication, miss, you know, information, um, missing, just missing the mark, missing something. So this causes things to become very, um, you know, very like robotic because it's like now this becomes defensive uh, with this 46 that ends. It's like nothing is ever like nothing that ends ever ends in a, a positive way. If it's like at a 10, I feel like if it's at a 10, it's like ish hit the fan. Something occurred, something ended up or resulted in what feels like a death, what feels like betrayal, what feels like, you know, like you've literally have been backstabbed, you know, um, this is a feeling of feeling even like, you know, um, kind of like confused, you know, kind of like, com as I said, like stuck in two minds, very, um, even may feel rejected, may feel, it's just not a good feeling, but this ending also, opens up 
a brand new opportunity, opens up a whole new pathway uh, for you to, you know, uh, now learn and gain that that uh, understanding of what that experience was teaching you or showing you. And it also opens your mind to see things clearly that you were previously in the dark about or unaware of. So this one is like this new beginning and then you learning that you're the sole controller of your destiny. You are the master manifester, the magi, the alchemist, that you too have and obtain divine knowledge and wisdom, that you can create your reality by setting your intention, by speaking what you want. And so it's like you now become that magician in your life. You now realize that you can utilize those elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and, and, and you know, speak out what you desire. Um, and that's what you're doing, you know? So with this domestic harmony, it's like you're going to, you know, move away from, you know, what isn't in alignment with you and seek, you know, some sort of um, exciting new opportunity uh, to, you know, venture off into a, a, a new chapter that will be more, you know, more uh, excitable, you know, more excitable, more adventurous. Uh, you'll put yourself out there to be more spontaneous even because there could have been, you know, this rigid, I just feel rigid and, and, and just like, uh, you know, this harmony is just like, there's no, no connectivity at all. It almost, it's like, you feel so uncomfortable. The energy's thick. It feels heavy. You know, it's very awkward silence half the time. So let's tap in beloved. So let's see what's, um, Coming in for my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit. And we have right now, who is this? This is uh, the glow of love. And this is by uh, Change. So the glow of love. And I heard self-love. Some of you all will be smitten. Like you'll be like blushing because whoever this new love is, it's like, you know how people say, oh my God, you're like, you're um, glowing. Like, you know, because this love is going to just feel so damn good. You know, even if it's just the love of self, as I said, like you just, you know, really taking care of you, knowing that self-love is the best love, you know, tending to you, um, you know, taking yourself to get little manny's petties, taking yourself on little, you know, vacations or staycations and, you know, just treating yourself more. And so that, that self-love begins to radiate and you begin to glow. So with this look of love, the glow of love that's playing uh, by change, I feel like that's the change um, that you made. Because remember, we just saw that 14 self-discipline. So it was like, that was something you learned was that self-love makes you more attractive. We have the uh, number 14. So this same card, uh, we saw 14 before <laughs> and we have the moderation here. So that's powerful. So another five, you see that? So that's the change. You know, five also speaks to change, but I do feel like this is showing how you have changed. As I said, the glow of love, you know, now you know to, you know, that, you know, love is an inside job. So you've healed yourself. Now you love yourself. So now you know your worth, you know, that was a positive change that you've made. Now you speak your truth. Now you own your voice, you own your power. Um, and this is something that you've you've learned from, you know, a former situation, maybe from, you know, a love connection or uh, relationships that uh, you were emotionally invested in. Those things, those connections, those relationships have taught you. And those those lessons also ultimately changed you, changed your perspective, changed your perspective on what's you know, family is, security is, stability is. Um, and it's also allowed you to uh, discover your own voice, discover uh, that you are, you know, a, a, a creative, you know, a creative force and that you are someone who is to, to birth ideas, to birth, uh, whether it's new projects, to birth new ways of thinking. It's like there's this consistent and constant energy of creation, of, of, you know, manifesting of channeling and utilizing that energy. And so you're, you're changing your reality. This is gaining spiritual, uh, knowledge, spiritual prowess, like just becoming like sage, like, um, being a healer, 
Every great healer has to first heal themselves. Uh, that five deals with the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is really about tutelage and, and, and building your knowledge, understanding that um, the journey uh, is, is, is more so the one that you have on the inside than it is the one on the out. It's about learning and knowing that you are um, the great I am ultimately, that you are the alchemist. Um, so it's like really owning your your um your own power it's really like coming into that knowledge that you are the all powerful you know if you're made in god's image then that means that you are god we have 63 parenting on the bottom of the deck and this did come out in the former reading and we still have um this song glow of love playing and it's by change so i feel like this is why you've changed because you was dealing with like the mother or father of your child and maybe you had like you know your own uh you know uh family uh issues you know feeling he healing you, you had to heal some old family wounds family issues in order to uh you know have this positive change so you may have had to go get to the root cause of the issue um, you had to go, you know, in, you had to do a lot of internal work because that nine is like the hermit. Um, so this led to you really not only feeling there was this distance as I was picking up earlier, um, emotional distance, maybe even physical distance at this point, but that 63 is like, it's like, this could be someone that you may have, um, had a child from, or, you know, someone that you had a child with. And, you know, that, that situation has uh, changed tremendously, uh, but it's also triggered uh, a lot of changes. You know, there's been some things that became very heavy, very burdensome. Um, this is really something that weighs heavily on perhaps uh, one of the per you know parties involved or both. Uh, this was a heavy situation, but there's also been this level of clarity. I feel there was a lot of one-sidedness, um, perhaps not even valuing uh another person's opinions not even um considering uh someone's time someone's energy like just very selfish energy just taking but not giving until someone establishes boundaries and and retreats and now there's these changes that emerge from someone you know finally you know taking that step to to get to step away you know, to, to go within for the answers that they're seeking. And this time away reveals that there are indeed uh, some changes that are necessary. There are indeed um, some gifts that you may have. And you begin to focus more so on those gifts, uh, on honing, mastering uh, those skills or sharpening your sword, uh, learning, building your wealth of knowledge, um, perhaps rehearsing and developing your skill set. It's like this situation has inspired uh, the change. So whatever that circumstance was, whether it was with your own mother or father, feelings of abandonment or rejection, um, you know, feeling left out in the cold, feeling unrequited love, uh, feeling like there was miscommunications, as I said, or misunderstandings, just a missed opportunity. Uh, there could be someone that has regrets, um, you know, who are disappointed perhaps, but that's what we have. Moderation came out for the overall energy. So who is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Beautiful souls, beautiful art and gels. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios for who or what they're attracting to them? Wow. And that flew out like, here I am. Oh, dang. Did it like fly under the chair? And it did. Oh, no, it did. It was right here. <laughs> All right. So what is that adventure? So I feel like something's coming in very quickly and it looks like it's love. Like with this one, you know, this uh, one with the 55, that's 10, that's one. And the six, that's seven. I'm getting like the chariot. So you saw how that just like kind of flew out real quick. So it's like something's coming in quickly. I feel like somebody is like has, um, you know, built up the courage, you know, mustered up the strength, the courage, the wise dome to take action. Maybe this is someone who's kind of set in their ways in the past. Maybe this is that same person 
that is going through some sort of, um, you know, um, they're coming out of, you know, like a dark period. It's like they're, 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 you know, freeing themselves. They're cut free from something karmically. And we have five, five, five here. That breaks down to 15. That's six. And then we also have the six here, the love. So that's what that is. I feel like spirit is telling you like this, this situation brings you back into harmony. And when you are in harmony and you love that self, then you begin to know that self, you know, your worth, you know, your value. Then you begin to start radiating what you are. It just it, like, like I said, like with that song glow of love, it's like, you just have like, you know, this, this aura, there's this, you're, you're, you're glowing, you know? It's like you're, you're just exuding this very beautiful vibration of love with this four and this one, that five and this 55, that six yet again. So we got this six, you know, six and six, that's 12. Someone is like perhaps seeing things from a completely different vantage point. Now seeing you from, seeing you as someone they want to build and, 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 and align themselves with because they see you as an empress. Because this six and the six reduces to 12. That's like, you know, that's that energy of kind of like, kind of looking at things from a completely different vantage point, you know, and spirit puts you in that sacrificial position so you can kind of flirt with different possibilities. Because if you're just one track minded, if you're just like looking at things very like, eh, eh, it's like you can miss opportunities. So it's like spirit be like, all right, let me flip things. Let me flip you, flip you. <laughs> you know talking about like you know saying spirit flips you and so it's like now you see it from like ah oh, oh i never saw it like that never thought of it like that that's how you gain that type of epiphany so spirit flips you but and it's like that's the harmony because the six you know that's love that's like the self-love because remember we saw self-discipline so you know in order for you to love thyself you have to have that discipline you have to know to put you first but that six also speaks to like you're 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 having a victorious outcome there's things that are as i said miracles blissings we had that material harvest we also had wish fulfillment and i'm just seeing like the six of wands i'm hearing like people whistling like you know how they be like you know and clapping and you know like applause and you know, there's just like this, 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 this moment to like breathe. Pardon me. I, I just hit the microphone, but my bad. I had an itch, but um, it's like, you know, I just see like, you know, some sort of like celebratory moment. And it's like, there's this action. It's like moving away from, as I said, like a dark period, you know, coming out on the other side, coming out of that dark period and, and like this momentous energy, like just powering ahead. And it's also like, you know, there's also like love could be coming in very quickly as well. Like you could be having someone that could be rushing in. This could be like a past life love per perhaps because, you know, maybe even a, this could be just like a twin flame, a yin to your yang, yang to your yin. But let's see. So we got the 55 foot adventure. So someone that is very much going to bring a lot of, you know, fun you know, a lot of spontaneity. This is going to be that person that's just going to like take you out of your comfort zone. And I feel like you're going to be open to, you know, that type of change because maybe things were very blah, you know, maybe things were very boring in your past. And now it's just like, this is an excite. This is like excitement. It's exciting for you. It's like, you're just living life and, and, and you grow to love this person. There's a lot of harmony and chemistry and there's also a sense of like, you know, spirit is aligning you with this person or has chosen you to be with this person or chosen this person to be with you or this is the person that spirit chose for you. But there's a beautiful energy here. Very beautiful because we have six and then six. That's 12. That's three. I see marriage. And I'm hearing that old like song, like first come love, then comes marriage. I saw uh -uh, with the baby carriage, like I'm hearing that, you know, so this could be someone that you will potentially like have a family. Maybe you will give birth to a child, 
you know, maybe you will, um, maybe you're birthing, as I said, something uh, creatively or artistically. You are tapping into your, you know, creative juices. You know, you are uh, master manifesting and co-creating with source. But let's see. So how does this person or how does uh, what our beloved Scorpios, what they're attracting to them feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And we have Anthony Hamilton. And this is called, um, what is that? It says black love. So this is definitely like going to be like a power couple. We got 10, the um, karmic completion and i was picking up like you all you know have wrapped up a cycle and you're like you know now attracting everything you desire and there goes self self love flew out how someone feels about you is self love and abundance so they feel like you're a wish fulfillment they also feel like taking action they feel more confident about rushing in coming towards you you know because they now have balanced themselves out or they feel like you know um just more confident because this seven and the seven eighty eight breaks down to sixteen. That's seven, and then this sixty one breaks down to seven, uh, which breaks down to fourteen. That's five. So I do feel like someone does express, you know, want to express themselves or communicate something. They could be going through um, some sort of ending, ending a cycle. Um, they could have been really like, as I said, you know, uh, cutting something off releasing something maybe this is you you know really like cutting yourself free and now what you've been manifesting and what you've been asking for um just by you loving yourself you know just by you learning because that you know like i said that seven seven breaks down to 14 that's five that's about learning that's about maturation that's about growing that's about healing it's about building that spiritual uh knowledge of self and you have five 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 so that breaks down to 20. So I do feel like this is speaking to, um, you know, there being many karmic lessons learned um, and you're completing that cycle. And that's why you may have had this feeling like you're waiting for things to change. But it's like spirit is confirming that, you know, this cycle is finally complete. Like you finally have that ability to exhale. And you're attracting um, not only emotional fulfillment, but you're also attracting abundance because you are aligning with your purpose. You're finding your voice. You're tapping into your divinity as a divine feminine, as a divine masculine. You're, you know, effecting the change. You're being that that uh, healer, that shaman, that light worker in your own circles because you're channeling. Um, you know, that master teacher energy because you're gaining the wise don't. You're gaining that deeper, more profound understanding of you uh, through the lessons you're learning, um, through you doing the knowledge, through your, through your research, through studying, through um, investigating or even sitting at the feet of an elder, a master teacher, healer, shaman, light worker, or Sufi, um, pastor, preacher, or maybe even a matriarch, patriarch in your family. It's, it's like you are learning and you're growing and you're developing. So this five, 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 as I said, plus this five here all reduces to 20. So it's about trusting your intuition. Someone really sees you as an, someone they can have equal give and take because that 20 reduces to two. And that is uh, giving me the two of cups. I also feel like, you know, they someone finds you to be very, um, very balanced, like you're, you're very solid, solid um, and they feel uh, this synergy or this chemistry, they feel this very harm, this, this harmony. It's like, you know, the, the two of you, like, it's almost like that yin yang. It's like, they feel that synergy, that chemistry where there's this, this, um, this gravitational pull. And they do feel also, uh, that there's this emotional fulfillment, or there could be this equal exchange of give and take, because there's, a sense of you being stimulating mentally, um, spiritually, there's a, a connectivity, um, you know, also emotion. Like there's a safe space with you. And uh, what I get from this is the desire to communicate 
um, the desire to express something, the desire uh, to change, you know, because I was getting distance. Um, maybe this is someone you are familiar with, not necessarily someone you dated, but someone that you may know, um, that you might not even know uh, has these feelings. This could be like a secret admirer. So someone definitely wants to um, say something to you because uh, that five is the throat chakra, but it's also the hierophant because they've learned something and you have nothing but fives. You got 14, that's five, 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 that's five, five, 61, that's seven, 88, that's seven, that breaks down to 14, which is five. So it's really like showing that there's absolutely a decision, um, a choice options. You're going to have your pick or you're going to have to decide, um, but you have to choose wisely. And that's why spirit was saying, trust your intuition. Cause that too is also the high priestess, the high priest. So that's about, you know, um, you having divine knowledge, divine wise dome already, and you needing to tap in to discern, um, to, uh, gauge what's the best course of action or, um, if action is required, like you will decide that, you know, by kind of like going within, you know, taking that internal self audit. Um, but trust that your inner wisdom, there is, you know, this ending, every ending denotes a new beginning. So this is like literally like, you know, exciting times. Like, so what's, what's hidden in the energy for my beloved? Look at that. It came right back out. I can't make this up. Someone is wrapping up a cycle, whether this is you or whether this is someone you're attracting. We have follow your dreams. So someone is feeling very inspired. This same energy came out in the former reading. So it's like someone definitely is like the death of the old way of thinking, doing, being, you know, the death of those old, uh, you know, dried up connections. It's like whatever isn't growing, it's dead, it's thinking, it's buried. Now it's like, I'm, I'm taking action. I'm taking flight. I'm going after what I want. There's a sense of like trusting oneself, you know, because this, this, 85 breaks down to 13, which is about transforming, changing, like forming like Voltron, you know, really owning, as I said, your power and standing erect or standing perpendicular in your square, being more solid, being more uh, assertive, being more, um, you know, in that energy of like rebuilding, you know, uh, fearlessly, uh, but also being, you know, very mindful, very guarded, uh, not to uh, give as much, you know, being emotionally intelligent, sort of, you know, in a way as well, like not over exerting yourself, giving just enough to get what you need. Um, but this also shows, like I said, that transformation and just that inspiration or that motivation or that just drive to go after what you want, those things that you may have put to the back burner or have forgotten. And it's like this moment where you had to go through that disappointing, um, pause or that karmic lesson. Um, you had to learn those 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 karmic lessons. It's like um, it put you in a space where you had to own your stuff, you know, because that hierophant is really about teaching. As I said, it's a studious energy. It's about tutelage. It's about building your wealth of knowledge, but also your spiritual um, prowess, your spiritual strength. And in order to do so, you have to be very honest. You have to be very um, um you know, um, you have to take onus. You have to be accountable uh, for your actions. You have to be accountable for what you observe, even within your own behavior. And that's what affects the change. That's what grows you, matures you. And that's what that energy is with all these fives. It's like, that's why there's the sense of like healing, growing. You know, green is a very, um, you know, it's, it's a card of healing. It's a card of, of, of groundedness. It's a card of like, um, you know, as I said, establishing a foundation and, um, we have this 85. So, you know, moving full steam ahead, but also learning to love that self. Cause remember we had that, that self love we saw. And then we also saw self discipline, um, which came out, you know, we got the self love and that's, uh, really about, you know, you, um, putting you first, you know, prioritizing you, uh, knowing that your worth and your value, um, knowing your worth and your value. And also, as I said, choosing uh, what you what you truly desire to do and not 
you know, putting anything uh, to the back burner so as to sacrifice what you want for someone else. Um, so that's powerful. So what is the outcome? So that's what's hidden is karmic completion. So wrapping up cycles, you know, um, this is learning lessons. This is breaking karmic cords, cutting karmic cords. So we have a lot of cards that flew out. 77 spiritualities on the bottom of the deck yet again. This was the card that was on the bottom of the deck in your reading yesterday. So today's bonus reading, another five. So we just saw seven, seven right here. So how they feel about you is they feel there's a spiritual connection because these are the cards for how they feel about you. Remember, this is seven and this is seven. 16 breaks down to seven. And this is the card, seven, seven. Whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's you mirroring someone. You know, this is someone that is like, you know, um, like, you know, perhaps like the yin to your yang, yang to your yin, someone that speaks your love language, or this could be a like mind. This could be someone you have synergy, chemistry. Uh, there could be something that's like, you know, the two of you share in common, that they feel a spiritual bond, you know, a very, like, this is a, a very sacred, you know, and they communicate with you telepathically, intuitively, because they know that you're uh, intuitive yourself. So it's like they they know this, so they also, so there's two and there's three, yeah. So someone is like recovering from disappointment, heartache, you know, they, they've had some, some very humbling experiences, very painful. It was a death. It definitely felt like a death uh, because all of these cards reduced to two and then this 10 reduces to one, that's three. And we're about to pull the card for how this person feels about you. And remember, there was a couple of cards that flew out. So we're going to pull those. But I was just, you know, expounding on the 77. So there's definitely communication, telepathic, intuitive. Someone's dreaming. A lot of psychic or cerebral activity going on. So what flew out for the outcome is we have relationship change. This is another card that came out in the form of reading. Reading. So there is some sort of change. I feel like someone's making a decision. Someone is making a very uh, bold decision to follow their heart. There's no longer being stuck in two minds. This is about choosing what you want. This is another, you know, show that so there was potentially someone in a codependent connection and needing to learn. This is another card that was in the former reading. Needing to learn that your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security. This is two and this is two that reduces to four. So this could have been a divine masculine that's having some sort of dark night of the soul journey or some divine masculine that is ending some sort of karmic cycle, having some sort of karmic completion. Something has come full circle. That is, you know, now finally, um, you know, feeling more solid, feeling more content, feeling as if they have been able to become more uh, self-sufficient. You know, maybe there was some some struggle, a little struggle, but I feel something, it, it, it improves. Could have been stressing, overthinking, analyzing. That 11 and that 11, this definitely is like a twin flame union because we have 11, 11 here. That could be why this, you know, relationship change and then individuality. This shows both you and whoever you're attracting, because that's another double number, that you both have really healed yourselves. Because I'm seeing like the Ace of Cups. I'm seeing, you know, that energy of like a cleanse, uh, you know, just purifying yourself, um, clean, clearing and cleansing, healing, finding that emotional equilibrium, that spiritual equilibrium. Um, also learning that you are the Magi, the alchemists, that you uh, have the ability to change your reality, to shape your reality and doing so. Um, and through your independence, you have discovered that you're happiest, you know? So it's about breaking free from those codependent connections um, and, and learning to lean on your own strength, lean on your own wise, don't, uh, don't be so, uh, reliant on someone to validate or to, um, you know, make you feel worthy. It's about loving thyself, you know? So this is a part of the healing, healing thyself to love thyself. Um, then when you love thyself, you know thyself. So that's that energy here that we see with this uh, individuality. It's like, these are the lessons you and the person you're attracting 
um, have learned. And with this eight, I get like the eight of swords, but I also see with the eight of pentacles, um, you know, someone wanting to uh, build, someone wanting to nurture, because um, that eight and that four reduces to 12. So that's that person like really pondering and thinking because we have 11, that's two, 56, that's two, that's four, four and eight is 12, you know, so that's again, the hangman where someone's really like, you know, they're thinking a little too much, you know, uh, maybe, um, or maybe a little overthinking is taking place uh, up in their head a lot, analyzing or um, perhaps this is like, you know, singing Koda Shoulda Waters or looking at things from a different perspective and possibly comparing what was. Uh, but I feel like with this nine completion, um, there is, you know, a sense that someone will, you know, come out of um, that very foggy place and they'll be able to take action because that three is, you know, not only giving me a sense that someone uh, begins to plan and prepare uh, to take action to go into a different place. Uh, but that nine and that three also reduces to 12. Again, that reduces to three. So that's about, you know, um, moving in a different direction, if you will. Uh, but as I said, you know, that's like a ready, set, go. So you're preparing. Um, and it's like you're, you're expecting uh, things to turn out, especially with the 77, like spirituality, like there already could be all, you know, this, this, um, you may be picking up on things intuitively. Uh, you may be having just certain, um, certain synchronicities happen, uh, that are assuring you, uh, that, you know, something is working out, um, in your favor. So we have the, uh, transformation card. And this is the number 13. So this 13 reduces to four. So just as I said, like you've experienced uh, some sort of uh, change. You've gone through enormous change. And you can see she's like shedding from her old self. So this is about, you know, the death of the old, the old uh, mindsets, belief systems, habits, behaviors, um, and emerging someone completely different, going through some sort of startling metamorphosis. And as I said, uh, becoming more um, self-sufficient, independent, like establishing your own solid foundation. Um, this is about, you know, uh, you know, self-love as well, uh, putting you first, prioritizing you. Um, but this death is really uh, showing how you've uh, you've, you've emerged someone completely different. Just as I said, spiritual strength here. So you've learned, you know, how to, um, hone in and channel in on your, your spiritual, um, power, your spiritual abilities. Like you've been in this hermit mode and it's really you, uh, channeling in and dialing in on that energy and learning how to utilize it. Uh, graduating to this level. You can see like he's wearing this cloak. So it's like you've reached a level of like self-mastery. So whatever you've learned, it's like you've um, built your wealth of knowledge and now you can teach, you can heal others. As you know, I said, every great healer has to first heal themselves, but you've gained that spiritual knowledge, that spiritual uh, strength. Uh, and you are, you know, an inspiration. So didn't I say I saw like victories and, 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 you know, standing ovations and people whistling and clapping and applause. And, and it's like, you know, you are uh, having a very victorious outcome. You know, that's that same six I saw. I saw the six of wands where there was like, you know, a very celebratory moment. But this is also like, you know, because you have some sort of, um, you know, some sort of, um, you know, you've, you've defied the odds. Like this is about, you know, uh, the peaks and valleys and you've reached, you know, some sort of pinnacle place, you know, in your life where, uh, the hard work pays off because you've trusted your intuition. Um, the six and seven breaks down to 13. So the seven is associated with the crown chakra. Uh, and that's all about, you know, you trusting your intuition, you trusting that inner gumption, following your heart, getting out of your head even, 
and 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 just getting into your heart space your heart chakra but this is who you've transformed into um someone who's uh as i said psychic a scryer a seer a healer shaman light worker a reiki healer maybe you someone who scries uh you know you have a gift and i feel like it's a very powerful gift that you have uh and it will lead you to uh as i said success um, maybe even recognition. So let's cut the deck and let's clarify these messages. We have Dave East and the name of the song is called Heavy. So, you know, I feel I immediately heard like the burdens were very heavy. They were too heavy for you. You carried around a lot of burdens. You carried around a lot of nonsense. And that's why you had to have this death. You know, this death was just, it was a way to free you um, from those binds, whatever isn't growing is dead. And so it's like, you know, when you are still carrying around, um, anger, resentment, animosity, when you're not forgiving, those things become burdensome on an energetic level. Um, give me one moment. That's my son. Right. Sorry about that. That was my son. He was outside. So we got the solar plexus. So trust your gut instinct. I feel like that's also what you learn to do now. Like you, you don't do anything unless it feels right or sits right in your spirit. This is like the sun that shines within. The solar plexus is really about your gumption, your instinct. Um, it's really also about healing, you know, um, you know, healing from past pains, wounds and traumas. Most trauma is, is you know, um, it, you, you carry it in your gut. You know, you carry it in your womb, especially when you don't express what you mold. Um, those things get pushed down, shoved down, and, you know, the gut becomes very um, blocked. So it's very beautiful to see that this, this solar plex card shows up because it shows that there has been absolutely a sense of like healing, you know, becoming uh, more secure, um, more confident even, um, trust in that instinct, you know, and uh, that inner wisdom, that inner knowledge. So that's beautiful. So let's tap in, beloveds. So this is what was on the bottom of the deck. This is clarifying the moderations. So you have the uh, five and the three. So that does lead to, you know, like that healing. You know, the yellow is a very healing color. It also is the color of the sun. The sun is very radiant. It's a very healing. It's food. It's actually food for the soul. Um, and it's also what activates your pineal gland. So perhaps this is just a reminder to, you know, sun gaze, you know, because that sun, uh, you know, it, it, it uh, reflects within. Not only will it, it, it uh, activate your pineal, but it could also, um, you know, activate your solar plexus, activate all of the chakras, you know. Uh, but this beautiful energy is like reduces to eight. And so I'm just feeling like, you know, a lot of karmic lessons uh, have led to many changes that you may have made. We have sold for real uh, every little thing I do. So for some of you all, you know, there were, uh, you maybe felt like, you know, every little thing you did, you were being punished for it. Um, and it was because there were some karmic lessons that some of you had to learn and had to balance out. And now there's going to be this feeling of like, you know, some sort of blessing or things turning around in your favor. I see things taking off or moving in a more positive um, direction for you. I feel like a lot of you all were praying and, and sending up prayers and, and uh, you know, speaking daily mantras, affirmations, um, just saying a lot of positive, uh, you know, things to affect some sort of change or to transform um, your circumstance. And it has worked. It's, it's as if you've shaped your reality. Things are changing for the better. Like as, a, as that card showed, like spiritual uh, strength. And then remember the 77, the spirituality. So it does show that there's uh, a very strong spiritual um, gift, ability, um, you know, um, um, energy, you know, that you exude. Uh, and this is also something that's very evident. Like you, 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 you give off this energy of like wise dome, um, you radiate love, light, you're warm. Remember, I was picking up an energy of warm, and this is, it doesn't get any warmer than that. Like that is a very warm, inviting, um, loving energy. And with with the sun and this green, like it just shows like the healing, you know, because I see the star with this, like turning vulnerabilities into like a superpower, um, you know, realizing that you're alchemist and you can, you know, transform your circumstance or, you know, transmute 
uh, that negative situation and turn it into something uh, powerful. It's like really, you know, honing in and dialing in on that energy and um, and doing so uh, unapologetically. And now that there's uh, this feeling, there's a feeling of like, um, you know, your wishes coming true. Because we did see, you know, as I said, in the clairaudient messages, that material harvest along with the wish fulfillment card. So there is blessings coming in and I feel it's coming in because you did the knowledge, you did the work. As I said, you've been growing, you've been building. Um, you've implemented the changes that are taking place. Like you made the necessary changes. You healed that self. And when healing that self, you learn to love that self. Now that you love that self, you know that self. And that's why you're more assertive, more wise. You're confident. You're courageous. You go after what you want. You're bolder. Um, that's why you're more prone to taking risks, being more spontaneous, and you're attracting other like minds. You know, this is attractive, someone attracted to you, or you attracting what you want to you as that alchemist or as that magi, because you're setting the intention or you're speaking what you want into reality. So it's a beautiful energy of, you know, action. Um, but we have on the bottom of the deck, it says uh, foundation and achievements. So it's like, you know, there is a new beginning because you have, you know, absolutely, um, you know, learned perhaps from your family, learned, uh, you know, from disappointment. Um, these things have allowed you to build on a more solid foundation to create your own, um, you know, foundation. Uh, you could be the head of household. Uh, and you run a very happy household. Um, you believe in everyone being equal or communicating, uh, being open, being vulnerable, being honest or transparent. Like there's, you know, a very supportive energy. You know, there's a lot of love, you know, uh, that I feel like you're developing. I also see with this four, that's like the 1111 vibration. And so that 1111 is like, you know, twin flame energy. And then we also have this 55. So this is saying that I do um, feel like someone is going to um, either emote or express something. Someone also may uh, be just learning, you know, learning. Um, there's a teaching and learning aspect. There always is with soulmates, twin flames, or any type of past life connections. You'll always feel like you're going through some dark period and learn these amazing lessons so that you could come into some really powerful spiritual union, whether love ships or, you know, soul tribes. And it's like that, that is the journey, you know, that is the dance almost, but look at this, this is stability with foundations and achievements. It's like you achieve some sort of goal or you've learned um, those lessons and you've built that spiritual knowledge, that spiritual sense. So why is this 55 adventure here for who or what my beloved uh, Scorpios are attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And we have uh, Angela Bofield, um, and this is called I Try. So this is someone that will, uh, I'm hearing, make the effort. They will try. And I'm hearing like, you know, um, there's no try, there's only do. You know, trying is not good enough. So perhaps, you know, they will come to that realization because that is someone going through some sort of karmic, um completion so they have to learn because the same 10 for what's hidden in the energy is the same 10 for the person you're attracting to you so this is just telling me that this person is definitely um you know ending some sort of karmic cycle or learning some sort of karmic lessons and that's you know what why they're going to uh take some sort of leap you know they're going to take some sort of leap because they've discovered the truth it's like they're closing you know, the door in that chapter of their life, you know, that's what this karmic completion is all about, you know, something coming full circle or, you know, finally uh, gaining that spiritual knowledge, trusting the process, you know, trusting the process and, and, and moving to the beat of your drum. Like, that's beautiful. So why is this 55 adventure here for who my beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message. Peace, power, and protection. So with this try, someone's name could be Angela. And we have obstacles and challenges. And this is going to be on the bottom of the deck for how they feel about you. So I was picking up someone, you know, may see this as, you know, a challenge because you are coming off, you know, as someone who is uh, very, very sure, very confident. But look what, what flew out, the throat chakra. So that's 555. Five, five. This could be someone you know. 
maybe that past life person. Remember, we had that 555 five, five show up earlier and it was um, it reduces to 15, which is six. Remember, we did see the love card with six that love, you know, the lovers is the six card in traditional tarot, the major arcana. So this is, you know, someone that is absolutely like the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. We did see the 1111 11 here for the outcome. And remember, we just saw the four, the foundation and achievements card, which is the vibration of 1111. So whoever this person is, is absolutely someone. I feel the angels are aligning you and this person um, because the lovers is pretty much like, you know, overseen by an, an angel, you know, and this angel, I feel, is giving both of you angles. Um you know, and the angles represent, uh, you know, those those moderations that one has to make either to themselves, their perspective of love. Um, you know, this is about, you know, looking at the self, self, you know, determination or self awareness, you know, and learning, uh, being willing to change the things that need changing as you did with that moderation. But there's also that five, five, the karmic completion, someone does come to the realization that whatever they're a part of, you know, it is unhealthy. It has reached the end of the road. As I said, whatever isn't growing, it's dead. So this person now with this 555, that 15, that six, they could be starting to feel uh, some sort of, you know, feelings, emotions, um, you know, that really feels very nostalgic. Perhaps when they bump into you, there'll be this sense of familiarity, commonality. Uh, with this two, it says sacral chakra. Uh, this person will follow their gut instinct. With that six and that two, that eight, they're mustering up the strength because this 55 and this five breaks down to 16. Uh, I mean, 15, which is six, and then the six and this two. And this is all clarifying who this is or what this is you're attracting to you. So whoever this is, they are kind of mustering up the strength they are because that eight is giving me like the strength card. Someone trying to muster up the strength or communicate or express something. They see you as an obstacle. So that is that level of like guardedness um, that I was picking up. You know, the seven with the 61 and this 88, those reduced to seven. And that seven is giving me like the seven of wands where you're like, you're fighting people off. Like you're, you know, very defensive. So you're fighting people off. But that 14 also reduces to five. So this is that same person, you know, that has something they want to say, but they could be a little hesitant. You know, they, they're a little hesitant because they, they fear there's going to be some sort of argument or there's going to be some sort of miscommunication or they feel like there's, you know, it's like they're anticipating the worst because um, this is another five. So maybe this is that same energy I was picking up with in the beginning of the reading where there's uh, this this sense of like debating constantly with someone, um, someone needing to be right, someone not really rationalizing or being logical or even like getting out of their own feelings and look, looking at things from someone else's perspective because that 12 showed up a couple of times Um which is the hangman. So this is, you know, that's a position the spirit will put you in as a sacrificial position. So you could kind of look at things from someone else's vantage point. But as I said, someone does see this as a challenge, but there goes the chariot. So they do find a way to, you know, break free or break through, um, you know, some sort of fear. That seven is movement. So the chariot is about finding that equilibrium and um, taking action being confident, being bold, being assertive. So whoever this is that you are um, attracting to you, they are going to, it looks like they will break free from this fear, you know, of holding back and, and sitting in a space of like regret or feeling rejected. And they're going to overcome that because they're going to brave their light. They're just going to take action. Why is this 61 um, self-love and 88 abundance here? So how this person, Scorpios are attracting to them, feel about them. And we have uh, Jaheen, this is called age, um, ain't a factor. Age ain't a factor. So they feel like you age gracefully, like you're beautiful. They don't care. This could be someone that's younger than you, or this could be someone that's older and they don't care about the age. It's like, even if this is someone that is younger, it's like they are very mature. You know, they, they're very mature, very well-learned, very well-traveled. 
Uh, this is someone that is, you know, I'm feeling like they've had many life experiences. So age doesn't matter in this regard. Uh, someone could be from Jersey. Thank you, spirit. So that is the person that doesn't express themselves. Because remember who you're attracting to you is the, the throat chakra. Some has, someone has difficulty um, expressing something. Someone's very, um, very trapped, very guarded very confused, very flick, conflicted. And it's because this is someone that has watched you transform. That's why it's almost like there's intimidation. You know, remember I was feeling like someone with the eight, you know, I was getting like the eight of swords where somebody's just up in their head, but this is self-imposed. Someone seeing something as a block instead of seeing it as an opportunity. And maybe it's because they are, you know, still recovering, still healing, but they do find that, that, you know, become aware. They do uh, get out of this state and start owning their power with this awareness. Someone owns the fact that they are the Magi, they are the alchemists, that they, you know, have divine knowledge, that they can master manifest. So this is like, you know, that, that, that ending of, you know, that, that confused state. Cause remember I was getting like the eight with this eight and this 10, um, the nine of swords. So this was like that energy, but this is all on the bottom of the deck. This, this, uh, trapped in fear and this awareness so someone does get you know have that aha that epiphany and and yeah they absolutely do because look look at this look what's on the bottom of the deck i'm gonna show you so the karmic this is how this karmic uh completion is unfolding and also how you know there's there's an end it's like it's it's done done it's fin see that these are the cards on the bottom of the deck so we have moving on so someone is coming out of that dark period, out of a dark time, out of a, a time of confusion, delusion, and it's because they've cut themselves free. It's because now they have the clarity. It's because now they have some sort of truth or something has come out. It's because they're trusting their own intuition. And when you trust your own intuition, you get out of your head. You can see this three here. So this is someone that has been like really in a, a, a dark period, in a dark place feeling this this loss feeling this this disappointment but there's wish fulfillments there's blessings there's opportunities that open up because you have healed thyself you've come out of this period becoming wiser you come out of that period where you may have suffered tremendously but you've healed you've elevated all the way up you know graduated took that elevator or that that elevator all the way from the basement all the way up to the crown chakra so it's like now you have that knowledge of self, you have that clarity, and you've cut away people, places, things, even faulty belief systems, and you've moved on. Maybe this is someone you're attracting to you. This is how someone is implementing not only this completion, but also cutting karmic cords, yet yokes, hexes, spells. I made some meditation videos that are intentional and are subliminal, uh, subliminal, pardon me, for those reasons. So check out, you know, these videos that I've been making are really, um, you know, as I said, they're intentional and they're also subliminal. So tap, check those out, like really play those. And I, ma I made it in, uh, I made them as a, you know, a short, shorter videos uh, because I know a lot of people, um, you know, you need an instant like boom. You know, so that's why I made those. But anyway, I digress. So with this here, there's someone gaining the clarity. Whatever they were trapped in, you know, whatever confusion, whatever lies they were telling themselves, it's like they move out of that space. You know, they move out of that and they they gain uh, some sort of epiphany or they see the light. You know, the light represents the truth. The light represents, you know, um, positivity. But this transformation that you've made, this change, you like now, you know, you're, you're like someone different. It's like you've reinvented yourself. You're like, you're, you're, as I said, you have this glow, you know, it's like you, you have a glow, you have this aura, there's this just light, this radiance, and there's almost the sense of someone being very intimidated, but this is all self-imposed because you are, you know, some, someone very loving, very grounded, very, you know, uh, very solid. I just feel like you're a very down to earth, earthy, grounded person. You love that self. You love others. You're emotionally intelligent. And it's because you've learned, you've learned from your experiences. You've learned how to be, who to be. Um, 
you're being your authentic self also. With this, um, you know, trapped in fear, there is someone who's literally like, you know, singing, you know, a lot of, of, of uh, what do you call that? <laughs> like, this is someone singing, you know, a lot of, you know, uh, negative self-talk. This is just someone trapped, talking about what, the, what they can't do. This is someone that really needs to get outside and go into a space where they can dump all of this heavy energy off and get a recharge, um, you know, get a reboot, uh, rejuvenate this spirit. Uh, because these dark, gloomy days, this this could be like the four walls closing in on someone. Um, this could be even depression. Uh, but I feel like this is also self-imposed and someone has to, you know, get out of that. It does change, though, because with this eight and this ten, that reduces to nine. So the nine is the highest number of vibration of change. I do feel like someone does come out of that. Um you know, to, you know, to approach things differently or to just get out of that space. So why is this 10 uh, karmic completion here for what's hidden in the energy from my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And we have Jay-Z, Empire State of Mind, and this is featuring Alicia Keys. So someone could be from like Manhattan, Brooklyn, New York, with a New York State of Mind. It's like, you know, um, that is something that New Yorkers say, like, wherever you go, you got a New York state of mind. It's like keeping your head on a swivel. It's about also um, staying 10 toes down. You know, uh, New York is a very uh, busy place. You know, you can't sleep. Uh, those who sleep, that's the cousin of death. So it's like you always got to stay on your tippy toes. There's always action. There's always things going on. Um, so I feel like, you know, maybe that's what uh, with that New York state of mind, someone could have lost their way. Someone could have gotten uh, away from themselves or away from perhaps their their own principles or belief systems and and kind of let their guard down maybe someone reflected uh something in another person uh that they knew um you know that was really like taking them back to the essence of who they are or someone that is really just like you know as i said mirroring your energy um this is also you doing your own dark night of the soul work and healing at a soul level and also embracing and owning that shadow side of yourself uh whilst also knowing how to balance it you need both and this is how you complete karmic cycles and lessons is just by learning you know how to balance yourself, how to, to bring uh, that sense of, um, you know, um, awareness. Uh, this is about healing as well, because this 18 that breaks down to nine, this one that breaks down to 10, and that 10 is like the death, it's the ending. Um, you've confronted yourself. The only way out is through. That's literally what you did. So you had to go through that period of, you know, looking at the woman or the man in the mirror um, and, and really getting down to the to the root of, to the tutor, to the root cause of the issue, and then discovering uh, those parts of yourself that, that needed to, to fall, you know, um, and this now inspires uh, this need to heal, this need to ground thyself. Um, and in doing so, you discover just how magical uh, you are. You, be, you become very aware. You have almost like an awakening that you are the Magi. Someone becomes aware that they are the Magi, the alchemist, and they begin creating or manifesting what they truly desire. Uh, so, and this brings that balance. Remember, I mentioned balance. Uh, that's the yin and yang. You know, that's also just, as I said, balancing that the, the logical and emotional sides of oneself, um, you know, balancing yourself, mind, body, and soul, being in harmony. You know, this this 11 is um, a master number. You could be seeing 11, 11, 11. I said 11, 11, 11. Maybe you're seeing that. But 11 is also uh, one half of the 11, 11. And I feel like with that one, because remember, we had individuality. I feel like there was a need to break free from those connections or those relationships that caused disharmony. Because remember, we did see that, uh, you know, um, that harmony uh relationship or harmony what was that card it was something about harmony in the beginning of the reading and it was like there was this disharmony that was happening because it was at an eight um i mean it was at a 10 
And so that meant that there was some sort of ending. So something was disharmonized. And your angels are bringing this balance, restoring uh, the balance. This is like balancing out the scales. Uh, maybe this is also you because this is about justice. So things are uh, absolutely turning around in your favor. I feel like spirit is acknowledging and noticing um, how you have sowed in good faith, how you have nurtured and cultivated and grew. You grew through your experiences. Um, and you didn't grow bitter. You didn't grow scorned. You didn't become uh, someone who is um, spiteful. It's like you learned uh, and you forgave. You showed compassion. Um, and you 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 wished those well. And in return, you, you receive what you send out. So it's like spirit recognizes that. You know, it's like what goes around comes back around. You know, it's literally like things come full circle. So what you've done, uh, you know, all the work that you've put forth, um, it's like there is going to be um, a return on your investment. It's like spirit is bringing someone that will balance you. And there goes this recognition. So you are being acknowledged. And this is the number nine. I'm sorry, the number three. So that shows like, you know, um, by you, you know, owning your power, mastering your craft, you become like that empress, that entrepreneur, you become someone uh, who's seen as very regal, very royal. Um, this is like, like initiation, ascension. This is like being ordained, uh, being favored, being acknowledged. Um, this is a very beautiful energy. I see four pyramids. Uh, so that's powerful. I see stability. You see how he's standing very perpendicular, you know, standing very solid, you know, it's, it's a very, uh, it's almost like a very humbled position. Uh, it's like bowing, giving honor, giving grace. So be mindful to give offerings, to give honor, to give thanks to your angels, deities. When blessings show up in your life, uh, be sure to do um, you know, uh, an offering, be sure to show gratitude, uh, as well. Um, so we have like this, uh, balance card. So I feel like there's, you're getting your just due. Um, that's absolutely what I'm feeling. And I also feel like you've learned from some sort of karmic lesson, which taught you, uh, to be less codependent and more independent, uh, to lean on your own ability, uh, to not, allow others to validate you. So this balance, this things being restored, things are being justified. I feel like Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. And as I said, uh, you reap what you sow, you get what you give. So why is this 11 individuality, relationship change, 71 health, 91, I mean nine completion here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And we have the smoke, and this is called stuns in the finale with the last supper. Okay, so they're saying that D Smoke stunned the crowd, and I read it like it was the name of the song. But this is D Smoke, you know. So I, I automatically heard like they don't want no smoke, you know. Um, you literally left people. Uh, it's like they ate your smoke, they ate your dust, you know, because whatever you were doing, as I said. You are absolutely mastering some sort of craft and you will be acknowledged. You will be blessed. This is like you're receiving some sort of recognition. You're going to be rewarded. This is wish fulfillment. This is like receiving material and spiritual um, wealth. This is being acknowledged, celebrated, rejoiced. You know, you're, you're going to be very satisfied. And this is because of the work you did with this disruption. Don't allow others to steal your joy or disrupt your peace. These are people who are trying to be like roadblocks. These are people who may also try to bind you. Remember, energy is transferable. So, you know, see through the illusions. There's a lot of jealousy surrounding Scorpios um, as of lately. This is someone very beguiling. I'm hearing the seven deadly sins. So this could be someone um, who's jealous, envious, um, someone who's lustful. This could be someone who has addictions, afflictions. This could be someone who could be like an incubus, succubus. This can be someone who is very beguiling, dishonest, a trickster, uh, someone who speaks with a forked tongue, uh, someone very, um, you know, like a puppet master, a master um, manipulator. Uh, but this is someone that also comes around to disrupt your peace. I feel like you have learned uh, from dealing with these energies. Like, it's like almost like you've learned how to, to move in a room full of vultures. It's like, you know, maybe your own family taught you some lessons. Like, this is like learning, uh, you know, from childhood traumas. And as I said, that five, gaining that spiritual prowess, gaining that spiritual wise dome, um, you know, becoming spiritually stronger even. With the seven and five, that's 12. So it's like, you know, you're teaching 
you know, even your haters, you know, people hate what they don't understand or understand and they fear what they can't conquer. So whoever this is, it's like this is someone that projects, they deflect, but they have a lot of issues within themselves. But what they do is they attach themselves to people because they have codependency issues. And so what they do is they're like leechy, their energy vampires. They're like parasites. They live vicariously through people, from people. And it's like they see that you are ascending, that you're wise, that you are, you know, someone that is like a, a, a healer, a shaman, a light worker. You see how this is someone with that five, that same hierophant energy. It says wisdom, wise dome. So it's like you've learned from perhaps these relationships, these connections, um, and it's taught you many lessons. It's taught you valuable lessons and it's made you wiser. And so whoever this is, it's like you've learned from this person as well. That could have been the karmic lesson um, that you learned from because this, this five and the seven in the numerology deck is the teaching and learning card. So it's like you could be the teacher and the student at the same time. And whether you knew unbeknownst to you, you are teaching those who may be, you know, watching you with, you know, jealousy or envy or disdain, you're still teaching these individuals. It doesn't stop your shine. I feel like spirit, as I said, they will recognize and, re you know, reward you. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. So I'm speaking to how you have taught that you're also learning from these very untrusting, untrustworthy, uh, very questionable energies. You're learning from that. Um, this is what's on the bottom of the deck. But you also have, look at this. You have the spiritual strength card. So you have gained, you know, um, spiritual, spiritual strength. You're spiritually aligned. You know, you have tapped into your Christ consciousness, into that God frequency. You have a deeper, more profound inner standing. You're in tune. You're in touch. And you're also a creative, just as I said. It's like you have this ability to create your nurturing. You know, you can see her hair is like branches, tree branches. So it's like you're the umi, you're the maternal or paternal figure. You know, you are the nurturer, the lover. You're devoted. You're dedicated. You're about family. This is about being faithful or being loyal or, you know, really cultivating and nurturing those connections. This is a very beautiful energy of even being... Uh, very powerful in your ability to create, whether you're birthing babies, whether you're a great mother, a great father, um, or you're birthing new ideas, you're birthing a business, you're birthing, um, you know, a podcast, you're birthing some new business module. It's like there's a sense of like being successful. Those seeds are harvesting. There's there's a blossoming you know, moment that takes place, something blossoms, something grows. And look at that. Didn't I say I saw like rejoicing and applause and, you know, cheers and whistling and this is that energy. So it's like you're absolutely, there's a blessing coming and then there's this, this, this very, um, you know, this is like childish to me at this point because it's just like you're coming out as someone that's spiritually wise, spiritually strong, you're coming off as an empress or an emperor, and then you got this type of energy. This could even speak to someone being very, um, very addicted or very, very possessive or someone that is just kind of like stalking or watching. And this energy is very, you know, like I said, you got the glow, you know, this is someone that has, you know, is radiant. This is, this is very attractive, mesmerizing even. So you you will be rewarded. There there's obvious rewards, recognitions. I feel you know this. Like you can feel it, you can sense it, and it's because many of you have manifested it. You've earned it. Also, I'm hearing. So let's cl let's tap in. Let's clarify these messages, beloved. So let's see what we got on the bottom of the deck. All right. Nope. You know what? This is the wrong deck. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me put these back. Thank you. Make sure there's nothing up there because yesterday that's what I did. So we have empath. I feel deeply. So some of you all could feel it. Just like I said, you could sense it. You know, some of you are intuitives, channelers, but you're also very sensitive, you know, intuitively or psychically, or maybe you're clairvoyant, whatever it is. We have Prince and the new power generation is called cream. So many of you also with the new power generation, it's like, this is your superpower is 
you know, you are empaths, you could be healers, shamans. With cream, I'm hearing cash rules, everything around me. I'm hearing that acronym for Wu-Tang. So for some of you all, I feel like there's going to be a whole lot of money coming in because of your superpowers. So maybe starting some sort of spiritual career, business. Okay, I thought I saw something turned around. So let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So divine spirit of love and light, why is 14 moderation and solar plexus here for my beloved Scorpio for the overall energy? Thank you. And it says, wow, and look how it bent. The card got bent when I pulled it out. So I get a sense of like, you know, because this is five and three. And remember, I was saying there's some sort of wish fulfillment because you've like, you've learned from karmic lessons. This eight is telling me that there were some karmic lessons that you've learned from, but it's also made you stronger. It's made you heal. You've also learned, you know, you've matured, you know, you've gained some sort of spiritual knowledge or you're, you're wiser. And for that, it's like you're attracting what you are. It says, I'm falling off my game. I messed around and fell in love with you, damn. And one of the things that I like to say is rise in love. So this could be like a wish fulfillment of something coming in unexpectedly. Maybe this is that communication um that someone you know will uh finally um have with you or this is that conversation that you'll finally have with someone we have on the bottom of the deck it says no one in this world sees me the way you do i feel special in your presence so this is you know the energy we're about to pull is for the person or what you're attracting to you and this is apparently what they're saying with this 55 adventure the throat chakra and the sacral chakra that's like someone is you know really uh going to take some sort of action because with this um seven and this five 55 that's eight yet again so i do see someone finally like rushing in there's some sort of swift action there's some 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 sort of positive movement forward to perhaps express to perhaps um you know express or emote uh this feeling it's like someone realizes like dang you're the yin to their yang you're their twin flame um there's no one else that matches uh as 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 beautifully you know they don't feel as matched or as connected to anyone as they do that as they might feel you. So why is this 55 the adventure, five throat chakra, the two sacral for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace. Okay, so that card is just sitting there dangling. We're going to take it. And it says attitude of gratitude. So this is someone that will appreciate you. I feel like this is someone that may do. Um, I feel like that's something they may have learned also. Um, one of their karmic lessons was to appreciate to not take people for granted. Uh, so, you know, they may be learning to um, do like gratitude um, exercises uh, daily, uh, but this is something they've had to learn because what you're attracting to you is like someone that's going to appreciate you. This is someone that's going to be very grateful uh, for you, grateful for this connection. It's going to feel like a wish fulfillment and like you've manifested this. This is something that's even like a miracle. I see black tourmaline, uh, Florida water, Palo Santo sage, singing bowls and candles. So this is about protection. How they feel about you is they definitely feel you're very guarded. You know, they also feel like you are, um, someone who has a fiery impenetrable wall of protection because we have this um <clears throat> like you're guarded that's what they're getting because we have seven seven remember for how they felt about you it was self-love it was 88 abundance so that's seven seven that's 14 that's five and then we also had this 13 transformation so they've watched you transform but they've also that you know, reduces to nine. So they feel that you're guarded. They feel that you're very protected because this black woman, this is like a protection card. Um, so they do feel like you have established some sort of boundaries or you are in a protective bubble. You're on your do not disturb my groove type of energy. And this is something that you've uh, kind of like you, you've transformed, like they've watched you become more solid, like you've established more of a solid foundation, like you don't play with anybody trying to waste your time. Um, you're now more uh, prone to, you know, like really, um, you know, just protecting yourself because I'm getting like the nine of wands. But they also see as I said, you know, with this nine, that you are someone single, someone independent, um, very stable, very self-sufficient, very self-determined, ambitious, uh, and you've been able to acquire a lot on your own um, and, and, and are very protective um, and also sussy of, of uh, you know, outsiders. It's like you, you're you very guarded because that nine of wands is like, you know, a wounded warrior, someone who's experienced life and has learned from their experiences. So it's like you're in a hermit mode where you are, you know, kind of guarded 
guarded um, to some degree, very protective or uh, almost like, um, you know, like you you are someone who pre appreciates uh, your your time alone and and they see that they see that there's this this, uh, you know, you have boundaries or of some sort. So why is the 61 self love 88 abundance 13 transformation here for how this person, our beloved Scorpios are attracted to them feel about them. Let me get a message of peace, power, protection, spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, protection. What is this? Thank you, spirit. That's a lot of messages. Thank you, spirit. So we have on the bottom of the deck, it says, use your first eye to see not your two. They will deceive you. And so I feel like that's, you know, we're about to pull the card for uh, what's hidden in the energy. And remember, we had the karmic completion and that 18, um, which was shadow. So this is about, you know, seeing through the illusions, you know, and cutting, a, you know, cutting yourself free from those illusions, not delusion, you know, being delusional also. So it says you are unlike anyone I've ever met or dealt with. So this is the shadow work where someone does feel like you mirror them, that there's like this likeness, this yin yang energy, the sacred connection. This is something that someone may be, um, you know, quietly or privately um, realizing about the connection. This could be someone that's hidden. You know, and we have power up, sunlight, clarity, illumination. So this is what someone obtains, you know, is this clarity that, you know, you're uh, unlike anyone else. You're rare, you're different, uh, you're unique. Uh, and perhaps the way that they feel about this connection, they're having that epiphany. They've seen the light. They've had that moment of clarity. And that's why they are being told to use your first eye to see. That's why they're also, um, you know, being told not to fall into the trap of, you know, allowing their feelings to sidetrack them or have them repeating cycles that they have already completed. Um, this is about using your two eye, your first eye. So using intuition, using discernment, but there is the sense of they do obtain clarity. We also have ready to love. So as I said, when you heal that self, you learn to love that self. Love is an inside job. So now you and whoever you're attracting, because you've taken the time out to heal, to, you know, address those wounds, those pains, those familial traumas, uh, those childhood traumas, past life traumas. Like after you do that work, it's like you now become very grounded, uh, very solid, as I said, and you emerge someone uh, healthy and also ready and prepared to love. There's the sense of being now, um, you know, solid. You know, I'm hearing solid as a rock, but also I'm hearing like standing very perpendicular in your square, uh, feeling this connective you know, this connectivity to the self or feeling uh, more like you are awakening to your truth, to your power. It says whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So that's absolutely, um, you know, what someone realizes when they uh, make that necessary change uh, to cut themselves free from, you know, whatever was holding them back whether it was their own belief systems, ideologies, habits, behaviors, or whether it was the people around them. Uh, this is someone who's been growing through the process. This is the growing pains. This is growing, uh, you know, through the lessons and learning that uh, you got to release, release your ex, release the old ways of doing things, uh, let go of what no longer serves your highest good, um, cutting yourself free, being free, being, you know, being very very, very um, free to move and and uh, do what you desire. And we have mine on my money, money on my mind. And remember, we just saw Cream by Prince and the New uh, Power Generation. So I do feel like, you know, you're, you're, you're very, um, you're focused on your stability or your legacy or a business. You're focused on circulating more money or you're, you're, you're focused on creating, uh, multiple streams of income and it's going to it's going to manifest it's like you know what you put out you get back so continue doing that because with these cards that showed up uh with the uh celebratory energy um along with you know this energy of like uh the blessings that are pouring through for you i feel that there's uh absolutely uh this moment where uh, there will be this applause. There will be this, 
this recognition and you will be like in the spotlight. Uh, and this is coming from spirit, like your angels, your guides. So some of you all, those feathers that you've been finding, these constant number synchronicities, whether you've been seeing 555, whether you've been seeing 888, 777, 111, 1111, whether you've been seeing 444, whatever those synchronicities are, those are the ways in which your angels, your guides, your ancestors, your spirit team communicates with you to let you know that it's already all right and to walk by faith and not by sight. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful reading, my beautiful Scorpios. And uh, all I have to say is just like, don't get uh, sidetracked. We got 777 on the bottom of the Psychic Tarot deck along with the Numerology deck. And so look at that. See that? We got 777. So this is a sign like this. You're being tested. So it's like you're being tested um, and, and, and tests are good because it's great preparation. Um, it teaches you lessons. It teaches you uh, to learn your lessons, you know, because uh, this right here, 777 breaks down, you know, to uh, 21. So that breaks down to three. So I do feel like that's what reaches uh, that level of self-mastery. You reach that level of self-mastery like the empress or like the emperor. So this is powerful. So with this 777, it's like, you know, master your craft, sharpen your sword. Don't allow yourselves to get distracted. Uh, this is about, you know, being able to um, see beyond the illusions, you know, and, and planning and strategizing uh, your course of action without being, um, you know, someone who is just reactionary. So yeah, trust, trust what you feel in your gut also, because that three is the solar plexus. And remember, it's like, you know, that's like the sun that shines within, but that's also like your second brain. So if it doesn't feel right or sit right, be off that. But you have blessings coming in, miracles coming in, wish fulfillment coming in, and love, more importantly. It seems like you have a twin flame, someone that's on your same frequency. And we have the scorpions, and this is called um, wind of change. So scorpions expect a wind of change. When I hear wind of change, it's like unexpected because sometimes you just get this gush of wind out of the blue. And the wind is also how spirit communicates, how spirit moves. Uh, so this is absolutely a sign that uh, your angels, your guides are bringing in a blessing for you. Um, you may be sitting out in your garden and you could be speaking to your angels and there will be this beautiful gust of wind just out of the blue. It could be just a regular day, no wind, no nothing. But that wind is a sign, a synchronicity, is your divine angels, ancestors, uh, your beautiful spirit team communicating with you and, and, and confirming that your situation is already all right, that your prayers have been heard, uh, that you should expect a miracle, that there will be a wish fulfillment, that you will be rewarded, that you will be recognized, uh, that you will be, um, you will be all right, beloved. But this is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in to each of you that may be new. I will that my energy, the way that I read, I will that this reading resonated with you if you found that it did. Please be kind, hit the like button. That is the way that I can get my video out there. It could get into the algorithms. I do provide very deep dives, so I do put a lot of time and energy. And I would just love the reciprocation of just hitting the like button to get it into the algorithms because maybe this reading will be helpful to someone else. And that is the whole point of doing this. Um, also, if you are new, um, I do provide uh, personal readings. So you can check the description box below. Um, <clears throat> my throat is getting blocked. Check the description box below and um, go check out my site, you know, book a reading. Uh, also check out my Etsy shop. I have some dope items on there. And um, I just want to say thank you so much for just tuning in, for sitting with me for a while. To all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, send a big fat ashe out. Peace.